Hi everyone, welcome to this LinkedIn masterclass for data scientists. So why am I doing this video? LinkedIn is the main tool that helped me get a job as a data scientist and I want you to leverage it as well. So why LinkedIn? LinkedIn is the best social platform to network and meet professionals. All the recruiters are there, all the professionals leverage LinkedIn, whether it's businesses or creators or just individuals that want to create content and grow their personal brands. So today I'm going to share with you the five tips that you need to implement today in order to succeed on LinkedIn and increase your chances to get a job from there. Number one is optimize your profile. Your profile is the first impression you give to recruiters or other professionals. It is the entry point for you to communicate with others. When you go on a profile and you see there is no profile picture, no banner, no tagline, you don't know what the person does, you're less likely to connect with them. But if you see a well-optimized profile, beautiful smile on the picture or professional picture, a nice banner explaining marketing specialist or data scientist in finance or whatever, these things just let you okay trust the person first impressions are very important whether you like it or not so what are the things you should focus on and optimize on your profile first is your banner the banner is the picture that you have on top of your profile picture and this one is very important because it's big and is the first thing that anyone sees when they go on your profile so optimize it accordingly you can go to Canva on their free plan. They have so many free designs that you can use, adapt the color. Maybe you can choose a color brand. If you prefer blue, prefer red, orange, that's up to you. This is not a marketing video, but what's important is that you need to showcase what you're doing in there in just one sentence. For example, you're a data scientist in finance, put it in there nicely, maybe a link to your website or your GitHub if you have one, but put it in there, leverage it. It's like a free ads, for yourself where you showcase what you're doing. Next, optimize your profile picture. Have a nice professional headshot with a phone, that's enough, but just ask someone to take it for you or take it on a selfie position, but just try to have good lighting, a beautiful smile, or just well-dressed and more professional. There are so many ways to do it. There's no one size fits all. Just do it as you wanna be, but just have a nice picture on your profile. Then optimize your tagline. The tagline is the sentence that you have at the top of your profile. So for example, you would say, if you offer some marketing services, you will say SEO marketing expert working for this, this, this. Or if you're selling a service, for example, you can say, I will help you get X by Y. For example, for uh, weight loss coaches, they say, I will help you lose 20 pounds within three weeks or nine weeks, whatever those people sell. So that's a powerful place where you can leverage your expertise. And usually people connecting with you, the first five seconds, they will see the banner, your profile picture and the tagline. And if then they're convinced or they're interested, they can dig deeper into the things that I will mention now. Next, optimize your experiences. You're a professional. People want to know what you did before, how you did them. Trying to be as explicit as possible. Share a lot of details, the results that you've done. Don't just put experiences and leave them blank. People want to know what you did, especially if you're looking for a job. Hiring managers and recruiters want to know what you did before and in detail because they want to see impact. They don't want to just see you working somewhere for five years and there is no description about it. They want to see what impact you've made in those companies and in your role. So be as detailed there as possible and add a lot of statistics. People love that. The about section is where you put more details about your life. You can go a little bit more personal, some experiences that you've done, some volunteering, what you love, your hobbies, traveling, be open. That's your space. People will tell you that you need to put some specific keywords and things like this. I don't think so. Rarely people go and read all your about section, but that's a space for you to just open up and give people something more personal about yourself so that if they want to connect with you, they can just go and grab it from there and have something to introduce themselves with. And you can do the same as you'll see later when you try to reach out to other people. And finally, I'd say here, optimize the featured section. So the feature section is a space on LinkedIn where you can advertise what you do or what you did 
or what you're offering. So if you offer some sort of service, put it there. If you have some YouTube page you want to showcase, put it there. If you have a GitHub account and you want to showcase your projects, put it in there, but use it. Don't leave it blank. It's a space for you to use. And people, believe me, they do click on your things when they're interested and when you drive more and more views. So now that you've optimized your profile, number two will be to start creating content. And people dread this step, especially if they've never done it before. People usually are used to sharing on Instagram, Facebook, it feels easier because you share some personal stuff. Here's my coffee, here's my cake, here's my trip to Paris. But on LinkedIn, they're dreading it. What, what can I write? It's so professional and it shouldn't be. LinkedIn has more than 1 billion users today. And so many people are sharing their stories. They're being unique, they're being authentic. So you can leverage that as well. Yes, share your expertise most of the times, but also share some of your personality. People love that. So don't be shy. Start with something simple. Do it once a week, twice a week find your own pace and then just keep going at the beginning you might not see many results but keep going i promise you you will see results over time people will be interested people will ask for advice and you'll see that opportunities will come your way at some point just don't rush it number three is engage with creators in your niche for example i am a data scientist i add a bunch of data scientists that are active on linkedin I engage with them every day. It's a way for me to support them, to learn from them as well, to stay up to date with the news on data science. That's very important. So create a list on LinkedIn of data scientists, for example, for me, if you're a marketer, you can add marketers. If you're in finance, add financial people and start engaging with them so that when you engage with those people, there are people that see your comments in their posts and they're intrigued. They're like, who is this person? He put some very interesting comments. I want to connect with him. I want to get to know him more or her more. So leverage this. Number four is the same as the previous one, but engage broadly. So for example, for me, I'm a data scientist, but I don't want to just engage in data science stuff. It's too technical. And I don't want to spend my whole life just doing that. I like following some entrepreneurs. I like learning about finances. I like learning about SEO. So also engage in those fields. It's good to be niche, but also to be broad. So have a mix of both. Number five, and this is something I neglected for a long time until recently, is connect daily with professionals. So LinkedIn gives you up to 20 connects. Uh, if you go above, they can restrict you or ban you even at some point. So be careful to not add everyone in one day. But use like 15 connections every day to connect with your prospects or with data scientists or with recruiters. Also use LinkedIn filters to find people that you're looking for or content that you're looking for. LinkedIn gives you the ability to filter by connections, maybe second connections, third connections, or by region, country, city, or maybe if you're looking for someone who is following a specific creator, there are so many filters that you can use to your advantage so that you can find the relevant people for your case. And number six, send DMs regularly. When you connect with those people, start engaging with them. Because the goal is not to have a list of thousands of people that you don't know, that you never speak to. The whole point is to meet new professionals, share experiences, ask for advice, give advice you'll see that there is so many combinations that you're going to have but only if you start engaging in meaningful conversations with people because content is good optimizing your profile is great connecting with people that's amazing but if you never engage with them everything is kind of superficial and you want to make it real the only way you will make it real is by messaging people speaking to them trying to understand what makes them tick and you'll see that you're going to make so many friendships from it. Yes, LinkedIn is a professional social platform, but it's also social, not just professional. So you'll see that people there are starting to share more of their authentic self. They're sharing more stories. They're more vulnerable. It's not just I recently graduated or congratulate me for this new job or congratulate me for this new certification. No, that's the old way how LinkedIn used to work. These days, 
it's a very good mix of storytelling, of education, of praising people for achievements, yes. But overall, it's one of the best platforms to be in, especially if you're looking for a job, opportunities, business, everything related to professional growth, it's where it happens. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. If yes, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot to create this type of video. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond to them and even make videos for specific questions if they are really relevant as well. So just to summarize everything we've seen today. One, optimize your profile. Your profile is the first impression you give to anyone, whether it's a recruiter, someone who wants to connect with you. That's something that needs to be optimized. Number two, create content regularly. People connect via your content. They want to connect with someone that is active and not just someone that will be just sitting on their connection list and they will never interact with. And your best chances to communicate with people is by sharing content yourself. Number three, engage with people in your niche. If your niche is data science, try to speak more to people in data science. A lot of people share content in there myself you can connect with me directly on linkedin also number four engage with people outside of your niche i'm sure you have many things that you're interested in and there are amazing people sharing amazing content in whatever you want marketing ai sales everything is available on linkedin follow those people engage with them it gives you more visibility uh, grows your network and you'll see that you'll find amazing people in all niches not just yours Number five, connect daily with professionals. LinkedIn gives you up to 20 connections a day. Use them, do 15 so that you stay on a safe uh, space because if you go over, sometimes they can restrict you, ban you, and you wanna avoid that. So uh, connect with people that are relevant to you. If you're looking for jobs, connect with recruiters in maybe the IT field in a specific region, or if you just wanna grow your network with data scientists, add some more data scientists, maybe also in your region in the US, in China, whatever suits you. And number six, don't forget to engage with people on a meaningful conversations in the DMs, in the direct messages, because this is where you create relationships, friendships, and opportunities. Thank you for watching.